Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. What's the one thing you could always use more of? Sleep. Sleep. Most of us need at least eight hours. Child, I'll be needing like 10 to 12. <laughs> but how many of us ever get eight? Here with uh, some good tips on how to get sleep is one of our favorite physicians, Dr. Jen Cottle. Yay! Hey, how are you? Good to see you. Girl, Dr. Jen, yes. child, let me tell you something. <laughs> sleep is like... It's tough. It's like money. It's the biggest you know question I get asked often in it the office. It is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. It comes and goes. Yes. Um, what are some of the... What, first of all, why are people sleep depraved? And okay. what can we do to try and get at least get eight hours sleep. of sleep. Yeah, there's a lot of reasons why we don't get enough sleep. Yeah. Sometimes it's what's going on in our mind. Mm -hmm. You know, if, if something is weighing heavily on my mind, yes. my mind is racing, I'm not sleeping. So yes. sometimes either anxiety, depression, or just life stuff can be the yes. case. Um, sometimes it can be underlying sleep conditions or disorders mm -hmm. like sleep apnea can yes. do it. But the other thing is that sometimes we're just not setting up our environment the right mm. way to get good sleep. And I know we got a lot of props. So we're gonna go through ways to get the best sleep. But I'd say those are probably the three biggest reasons why mm -hmm. We don't sleep the way we should. Well, let's get right into it. Let's Give do it. Give some tips on how to get the proper sleep, or at least the proper setup to get yes, some good sleep. Yes, absolutely. So I say the first thing is to get a, con a consistent sleep schedule. Okay. Um, to sleep like a baby, you want to sleep like a baby sleeps. Right. And you know, they get their sleep in, they get it in. Yes, so they do. go to bed and wake up at the same time every night. That's mm -hmm. really important. Now I also love an establish a relaxing bedtime routine. Mm -hmm. So we've got our, our lovely candle. I have yes. aromatic candles in my bedroom, which I yes. really, really love. Okay. And then, um, you know, just kind of like setting the stage, whether it's hot tea, whether you kind of do candles, like mood lighting, you know, mm -hmm. set that stage, super, super so important. Like a, what about a good bath I, concept? Perfect, okay. yes, a bath is excellent. Mm -hmm. The other thing is, folks will like this, they always do. Use that bedroom for sleep and sex only. Oh. Yes, permission to have sex, by the way. Um, but, First, uh, and then go to sleep. Right, and then go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know everybody's like, what? Um, but anyway, okay. the point with that is not to use your bedroom to pay bills, to watch crazy television right. shows. The idea is you want to relax, okay? okay? The other thing is cool temperatures. Cool to I can't sleep in the heat. Me I neither. definitely have to have it freezing. I sweat, I wake up sweating yes. and I'm hot, so keep that temperature nice okay. and cool. The other thing is turn off electronics. By the way, this our, our fan, whether I keep a fan going in my room to mm -hmm. keep it cool. Um, um, also making sure that we're turning off electronics. Keep that room dark. We've got our little eye mask right yes. here, which is super important. Mm -hmm. And then um, this is important. Drinking water is important, but we, want, we don't want to drink too much water. Because then you have to get up and go to the bathroom. You're just going to be going to the bathroom yeah. all night long. So we don't want that. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So. So Those are some tips. And now some people ask me about sleeping pills. I was just getting ready yeah, to say. Yeah, let's talk about this because some people say, okay, Dr. Jen, I can't sleep, so what can I... Because of the mind going. Yeah, so yeah. sometimes I, I use melatonin. I'm okay. guilty. Does it work for you? It does work for me, but okay. the problem is I'll wake up prematurely. Early, okay. Yes. So the biggest thing I would say honestly is we always want to figure out what the underlying cause of not sleeping is. Mm -hmm. So if you feel like your mind is racing, obviously the biggest thing that we want to do is try to figure out how we can help that, whether it's meditation or guided like deep breathing or things yes. like that. Box breathing. Yes, like just trying to kind of stay calm. Mm -hmm. But the other thing is sleeping pills. Remember that some sleeping pills can be, I'm not talking about melatonin, but some can be habit forming. We don't want that. Yes. Melatonin can be a good option for some people, but okay. I always say check with your doctor first okay. before you try that, okay? okay? Yeah. Well, Dr. Jen, those tips were amazing and I'm sure very helpful. Thank you so much for joining us. For more tips like these, please follow Dr. Jen on her YouTube and stay with us because we'll be right back.